Hey everyone, welcome back. After playing through some lighthearted games like Tears of the Kingdom and Jedi Survivor, I've been craving something that could make my heart race. With all these big games making waves, I hadn't even noticed a release that crept up behind me. And of course, I'm talking about Amnesia the Bunker. Whenever Frictional Games puts out a new title, I expect a bit of curiosity and danger within each game they make. Having recently played the Amnesia series, I went in expecting more of a walking simulator with a linear path somewhat similar to how Rebirth was. But what I got was something different entirely, and I was so happy to be wrong. Right from the very beginning, the game tells you that you are on your own. You must learn, adapt, and experiment to survive. The bunker treats you, the main character, like a rat in an extremely large and highly dangerous maze. It tells you right at the very start of the game that if you think something will work, try it. Chances are that most likely it will. This changed how I looked at immersive simulation. Frictional Games knows how to make motivated games. Games that will put you in a scenario, but won't tell you the outcome. You just make the choices, and now you, as the player, are responsible for every action you take. And with each action, comes consequences. Amnesia the Bunker is an incredibly well-crafted atmospheric experience, and anyone who enjoys the immersion these horror games provide will enjoy this interesting take on the survival horror genre. Frictional's games are made with great world building, and the gameplay itself holds a unique spin on being more involved with your character's actions. Every minute detail has you constantly juggling between your flashlight and searching for places to hide in the dark. The sound design is entrancing and delicately placed, but like I keep saying, all of your actions have consequences. And sound is a key feature in this game. Because of your time in the darkness, you can accustom yourself to your surroundings and listen for your threats. The sound of footsteps, short breaths, and flickering of bunker lights are all telltale signs that those threats are coming to look for you. Everything you do comes with a cost. So revving your flashlight to allow you to see might be loud enough to awaken certain creatures lurking in the shadows. The constant resource management and being consistently aware of your tools and utilities is the key to survival. Amnesia has never made me weigh risk over reward as much before, but this time I loved it. I was experimenting like the game had told me to do. I was learning more about my environment and how to ensure my own safety. The bunker thrives on this immersion of survival. It is what keeps you engaged and focused on what must be done. And the pace of the game is entirely up to you. Approach any area you wish and venture forth. This game doesn't really hold your hand once your boots are truly on the ground. It's up to you to figure out what must be done to ensure your escape. I almost forgot to mention something. The setting of this game. The brutality of war shown to us right from the beginning. No forgiveness, nor regret. Just actions done for survival. World War I was one of the most brutal wars in our history. It introduced new technology into the world that would eventually cause the greatest loss of human life than any other previous war in history. Trying to survive in that harsh reality along with the questionable detour we have to take within the bunker itself was an experience I really wasn't prepared for, but the atmosphere and the tension always kept me on my toes and thankfully I did find my own way out. Frictional Games adapts their formula and experiments with us. Only then can we learn and survive. Thank you all for taking the time to watch my video. My name is Zen, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care of yourself.